All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for a few, couple of real people out there just like you and just like me. So we're taking a little break from, you know, Twitter and the journey craziness and the idle threats and, uh, you know, the trolls, the bots, all of the things going on in the journey feud. We have to take a break for a little while and yes, guilty as charged, people say, okay, here he goes again. He's doing another video about Journey. Hey, there's nothing really happening today. So my fallback position, it's kind of like being in the military. It's like, all right, fall back to the Journey. All right, and uh, I'm not talking about Journey specifically today. What I am talking about, though, uh, is a band that I think you might enjoy if you like Journey. Now, don't change the channel yet because there's no juicy gossip or groundbreaking, earth-shattering information. Don't do it. Don't do it, all right? Um, hang in there. I've got a lot of patrons, by the way, who thank me. They say, hey, you know, you pointed out this other band over here, and I like Journey, and I like that other band. You know, I did the Ramos Hugo thing, and I had people, like, scouring the internet. I found one for $135. Do you think I should buy it? I'm like, Probably not. Maybe just stream it, you know, maybe download it from Amazon Music or something if it's over there, Spotify. But this puppy right here, puppy, this, <laughs> who calls anything a puppy? Um, Departure. Now check it out. The band is called Departure. So you're thinking, hmm, Journey Departure. That was an album they had years ago. So does it sound like Journey? kind of sort of been around for a long time um this came out about 10 years ago now the cool thing was uh when i first got this album it was really hard to get that's not the cool thing the cool thing is now the album seems to be back in print and available from my good friends over at escape music now before i get into what this really sounds like this is the brainchild of Mike Walsh, who is an American multi-instrumentalist and has worked with Praying Mantis and Dean Fasano's Message, and also he's worked with Bon Jovi and several other New Jersey bands. And he's played alongside uh, great artists such as Glenn Burtnick, who used to be in Styx, and I think he's still in that uh, ELO project. And also Aldo Nova. So anybody who works with Aldo Nova is really cool. Uh, this band uh, started back in 1998. So you've missed a lot of great music over the years. Uh, they released a second album. It was called Corporate Wheel. Uh, and once again, some of what this sounds like back in those days was Styx, Kansas, Saga, Journey, and Toto. So they do mention Journey. So this album, which is called Hitch a Ride, okay, just fantastic. I love the artwork. I love pretty much everything about this. I bought this based on the name of it, and I'm wondering, does this sound like Journey? You know, you're calling it Departure. By the way, another great uh, name for a Journey tribute band would be Departure especially now when Neil and John, you know, they're kind of going their separate ways. And so before you go your separate ways, you have to plan your departure, right? So <laughs> maybe this is all kind of prophetic. All the albums through the years, uh, Frontiers, we've kind of reached the end. <laughs> Can't go any further. Escape, you know, Steve Perry realizing he doesn't want to hang out with these people. So that's a forewarning that he needs to get the heck out of there. Uh, but then they come back with like raised on radio so i don't know but anyway departure the album's called hitch a ride it is available over at escape music now and it's escape dash music and uh there's a link i'm gonna try to put the link if i remember in the description here so you can order it um it's listed at 10.99 i think those are english pounds so i'm not sure how that converts. Uh, most likely it'll cost you more dollars than pounds. I don't know. Um, but anyway, they go on to say, this is another masterpiece in the series 
of great albums. This is number four. It's their fourth album. It's called Hitch a Ride. And uh, back in those days, the melodic rock community was eagerly awaiting its release. And uh, they've got different singers on each album. This has a Swedish singer along with uh, Mike, who is still doing the work. That would be Mike Walsh. There are 11 tracks. Nowhere to Go is the hit single. It's just phenomenal. It will stick in your brain for a very long time. This is professionally done melodic rock. Sounds good on any stereo, especially if you crank it up really loud. And again, Escape Music, a very reliable source for great melodic rock. You might notice over my shoulder is the Turkish Delight album that came out last year. That's the LP, two LP set, which is just so pristine and wonderful. And I, yes, I have played it on my turntable a few times and it's just fun to play records every so often. But Departure, here it is again, Hitch a Ride. This is music for Journey fans who are maybe growing a little tired of Journey or just want something else to put in their collection. Yes, you can stream this now. It wasn't up on YouTube Music. It apparently uh, got on there back in 2022, and I didn't see it. So there are a number of really good songs on this record. Uh, you may get confused again because the album's called Hitch a Ride, Hitch a Ride, which is a Boston song, and uh, it's called the a group is called Departure. So the group is Departure. The title of the album is Hitch a Ride. Departure is a Journey album title. Ugh. I mean, it's good because you might be doing a search for either Boston or Journey and wind up finding Departure, but it's highly unlikely. It didn't happen uh, back in the day, probably when YouTube you know, got its start because they did do a video, I believe an actual video for the first single, which again was called uh, Nowhere to Go. It's a phenomenal song, and I think people need to go listen to Nowhere to Go by Departure, and uh, they'll be happy about it, all right? So anyway, folks, um, wasn't really a busy news day today, and I had no new information about Journey, although it's easy to dig into some of these, uh, these legal things that are going on, these theories that people have about what's happening, and come to some conclusions about who's in the right and who's in the wrong. All I know uh, is that there are people who make it a full-time job on social media to make other people uh, feel miserable. And so this music might help you uh, forget about some of your problems. Again, I'm going to go and crank this up as soon as I'm done with this video. I haven't listened to this in a while. It sounds great in the car too, so that's why you need a CD copy. And I will link to where you can purchase a copy uh, over on Escape Music, um, put a little note, say, hey, Real Music Observer likes this, so you better keep this in print. Don't let it go out of print. We need melodic rock for our collections. All right, I am done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, YouTube memberships for $2.99 a month, Patreon. All of these things can be done courtesy of the banner landing page of the YouTube channel. Uh, I want to thank everybody for making last month a decent month when it comes to uh, all of the patrons and the members. However, you know, revenue up until the Eric Clapton video was really, really bad. Uh, it was historically low. And uh, I want to thank Eric Clapton for, you know, helping uh, recalibrate the algorithm a little bit. We'll see how long that lasts, though. Uh, typically it's very short lived and hence that's why I have to go on here every so often and do my PBS routine PBS begging for money no I don't want to beg for money I just want like a dollar a month it's not a lot I really appreciate those who do it though thanks again see you soon